Dear distinguished guests, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, it was a great pleasure for me to accept to deliver these opening remarks at the World Forestry Congress, which is being held in South Korea. This Congress comes at the right time when the international community is increasingly recognizing that building resilience to climate change require full integration of indigenous people and local communities, contrary to the traditional approach of top-down putting the communities at rest. Various international policy processes, such as the 2030 Agenda on Sustainable Development Goals, the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration, the Bono Challenge, the Africa Agenda on Landscape Restoration, all recognize the importance of integrating communities and the role they play in the restoration of ecosystems. In Africa, over 40% of land lie in agricultural land. We can't achieve the restoration target if we don't involve local communities. And most of these farmers, even using a small land, like here in Rwanda, where only 0.5 hectares is the average per family, we still need to involve them. We cannot leave them behind, as they can also contribute to these restoration efforts and building resilience to climate change. We recognize the number of efforts being done in landscape, forest landscape restoration, and uh, this can vary from one country to another. For example, in the case of my organization, ARCOS, our approach in working with communities is based in uh, strong partnership and collaboration with the communities at the forefront, but we also partner and work very closely with local government in the implementation of community program. We use an integrated approach formed uh, with four pillars, B, E, S, and T, best approach. The letter B stands for building leadership and the sustainable institutions, where we work very closely with the community groups to promote a good governance, leadership, and decision making. The letter E stands for enhancing environmental resilience the environment being the resources they use and they need to take care of. The letter S stand for sustainable business institution in terms of income generation and financial uh, sustainability. And finally, the letter T stand for transformation and inspiring others as if we needed to make an impact, we need also to influence others for change. Our course work with over 30,000 farmers in the Abitan Rift region, a mountainous region, as you know, vulnerable to climate change. Engaging and partnering with these farmers, local government and the different partners, has shown that building resilience needs to look far as we address the problems of today. I hope that your deliberations We'll build on these few remarks as we look at how we engage in making an impact and contributing to the Agenda 2030. Thank you very much and have a good deliberations.